Good morning, keto peeps, and today we are doing video number two on uh, my series uh, Weight Loss Surgeries and Going Keto. Uh, my previous video was covering sort of how to get started, um, you know, if you should get started and whatnot. Um, video number two will cover no gallbladder, no problem. And I just want to remind y'all to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. Um, today we're going to talk about gallbladders and keto. Uh, most of us who have had weight loss surgery, uh, especially lately, uh, doctors will opt to take out the gallbladder same time they do the surgery. Um, some people already don't have a gallbladder or get it taken out after because they develop stones or issues um, when after having weight loss surgery. So um, once it's removed, the surgeon usually instructs us to eat low fat. Uh, and of course, uh, that's going to be an issue if you're going to go keto. So uh, there, there are ways around it. So first, adding that much fat, too much fat all at once can result in uh, something called pancreatitis, uh, fatty stools, heartburn, and a lot of people have pain uh, right in through here. Uh, when I began, I had all of these um, in varying degrees, some of them very badly. Uh, I was even hospitalized because of uh, the pain and the pancreatitis, specifically. But don't despair, because um, once I was released from the hospital, I kind of reverse engineered it and figured out a way. Now, this doesn't happen to everybody. Uh, a lot of people that have had weight loss surgery can do keto and never have an issue with uh, these problems. I found, for me, backing down my fats... Whereas before I was trying to get in all my fats three times a day, it was too much. Uh, so I backed them down to five to 10 grams per meal for a few weeks at a time. Um, and that usually will get rid of the pain and your other symptoms pretty much immediately. Uh, the only thing is, the only problem with that is, you're still trying to be keto, but the fat is what makes you feel full. So you may have issues with satiety uh, once you back down. So then what I did was I started slowly adding five grams at a time. I was keeping myself to three meals a day and adding five more grams, say after two weeks. My body got used to having that much fat with each meal. Then I added another five grams. Of course, you gotta listen to your body. Um, my goal was to hit 30 grams per meal. So over two week increments, I would add uh, an extra five grams per meal. Uh, it took about eight weeks or so. Uh, I listened to my body. Um, sometimes I tried to go a little faster and I would have pain or I would feel, I would get a lot of heartburn. And so I'd just back it down a little and give my body a chance to, um, you know, catch up, sort of. So physiologically, what's going on? What, what, what you're doing is you're training your liver. Because you have no gallbladder, you're training your liver to produce more bile to handle the amounts of ingested fats. So once your gallbladder is removed, uh, it no longer has a place to store bile. And um, so your liver has to kind of catch up and um, get into kind of a rhythm of how it's supposed to add more uh, bile as you go. So that makes sense, right? Uh, it just, it, it takes time. It takes time, but it can be done. And if you're still having problems or if you don't have the patience that I had, uh, your best bet is to add a digestive enzyme. You can uh, buy these over the counter pretty much anywhere, Walgreens, Walmart, vitamin shop. 
uh, like ox bile or just it'll just be digestive enzyme has amylase and a bunch of other uh, enzymes in it and a lot of times those will help I think the ox bile is the one that I read is the most efficient at breaking down uh, fats which is what you're looking for so even with all of that training uh, that I did to my liver uh, to process fats and make myself able to digest those, uh, you know, uh, many times when I have like a wild card meal, go out to dinner, or I'm eating something that somebody else cooked, uh, it can exceed 30 grams of fat and I won't even know it, uh, but I will pay for it later. So I'll either have fatty stool, or I'll have immediate pain, or heartburn, or whatever. Your body will tell you when you've had too much. So you just have to listen to your body and have patience. Um, take cues from it. So that's it for gallbladder, y'all. Uh, this has been me, Michelle Chapman, Keto is Life. And um, next time, we are going to cover... Uh, some specific foods, um, what to eat, when to eat it for weight loss surgery uh, peeps and uh, those trying to start keto uh, with some sort of Frankenstein guts. Um, so like and subscribe and I will see y'all later. Bye.